I'm spending way too long talking about these. I have like 30 of them. Hey guys, it's Brooke and I am actually not in my normal area. I am at my grandparents' house where I have really good lighting in the middle of the night, so I'm thankful for that. And I just wanted to make this video because I'm really excited because my grandfather is gave me almost like his entire CD collection. And <laughs> I'm really excited. So this is basically a haul is what I'm calling it. But I'm basically just showing those things to you guys. My grandfather, he listens to a lot of... Um, old time country and I've always you know kind of grown up around him listening to older country and he had several CDs um, that I've never heard or I've never heard the full album of but he said I could have whatever so anyone whose name I recognized even if they're not someone I normally listen to I picked them out because to like kind of sample some of the music. I know I can do that via streaming. That was just like, this was a good opportunity. And also it's somewhat sentimental because they're my grandfathers. So yeah. My grandfather, as a lot of people did, threw away all his jewel cases for his CDs. So this man um, just kept the booklet and put the disc in it, which I think is hilarious. Um, but this is the first one. It's Queen's Greatest Hits, and I don't love Queen. Um, like, I've actually, like, Queen I've tried to get into in the past, and I don't, I don't love them. I like a couple songs by them. Uh, this has, you know, We Will Rock You and Killer Queen on it. I do love Killer Queen a lot. And I don't know, I just figured that this was a good one to have. How does this not have Bohemian Rhapsody on it? It says it have Bohemian Rhapsody on it. I just now noticed that. But anyway, the next one is Willie Nelson, who's another person who like I don't really listen to, but except for a few songs, like some of his like basic stuff, like Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain, classics like that I do listen to. But this is another one where like I want to listen to more of his stuff. And also Willie Nelson is like my grandfather's favorite person, so I don't know, it was just cool to have. And also, that's our last name. My aunt used to call him Uncle Willie. <laughs> but yeah, this is his Red-Headed Stranger album. And I also liked that album name, so there that is. This is also by Willie Nelson, and this is The Troublemaker. And I think this is actually um, Christian music, which is really cool because I do listen to Christian music and I like listening to Christian music that's by artists that are not strictly gospel artists so I'll get some use out of this one. The next one is Graceland by Paul Simon and once again I you know don't listen to Simon and Garfunkel really which is kind of embarrassing um because I feel like everyone listens to Simon and Garfunkel but I don't know this just seemed like a good one to grab to try out so yeah then this is Vince Gill souvenir um Vince Gill is another one who I like a little bit but like my mom and my pop really like him and so I was like let me you're probably going to be seeing a lot of these songs in my future music favorites and playlist videos so this is maybe like a little little sneak peek of that then he has the eagles hell freezes over which is one that my mom actually has and i've always loved her cd of it and this album is actually how i got into the eagles because my mom played this a lot she bought it when it came out and um, played it all the time. And this was the first exposure I had to them. My mom would play this CD in the car all the time. And uh, this, this CD is still like so much of my memories of the Eagles and they're one of my all time favorite bands. And this has Get Over It on it, which you can't find anywhere. It's not on any streaming services, which is so annoying, so annoying. Spotify, please, 
get over whatever is causing you to not have it. And I don't know, like this album, it just has, you know, all the hits on it. And this has Life in the Fast Lane on it, which um, is one of my favorite songs and was totally my favorite when I first started listening to them. And the version of Life in the Fast Lane that's on here is the version of Life in the Fast Lane that like I heard before I ever heard the studio version. So when I sing that song, I kind of um, sing like the live version. And like he says, he was a hard-headed man. He was brutally handsome. On the live version, he says he was a hard-headed man. He was brutally handsome, y'all. And I always say that when I listen to the studio version, and it's not right. So I love this album, and I don't have it. So I was really happy that he gave this to me. And it's also not on Spotify. And I got I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton. Um, once again, I love Dolly, but I don't, you know, have... A ton of her stuff that I know and also this is just a classic thing to have. Then there's Pretty Paper by Willie Nelson which I've always loved listening to at Christmas time and my grandparents also have the vinyl of this and I always play the vinyl of it on Christmas or during Christmas time when I'm at their house and because I've spent like every Christmas of my life at their house and um, I just love this album and I was so happy that he gave me this. Then this one um, also is new to me, more experimental for me, but it's a trio album that is Dolly Parton, Emmylou Harris, and Linda Ronstadt. And my grandfather loves Linda Ronstadt. And we actually watched a documentary on the Eagles together, me and my grandfather, because we're going to see them in 20 something days <laughs> uh anyway so we were watching and Linda Ronstadt was in it a bunch because obviously um Glenn Fry and Don Henley did back up for Linda Ronstadt and um I really loved her voice and style and persona in the clips that were in the we watched the um history of the eagles which is on netflix you should watch it if you want to but anyway i just saw dolly parton linda ronstadt and Amy Lou, and i was like that's probably good so go check that one out and then there's jimmy buffett greatest hits which jimmy buffett is playing with the eagles i was gonna say opening for but i, I don't really think jimmy buffett opens for people he's supporting the eagles on tour <laughs> So yeah, this has several songs I love on it. Come Monday by Jimmy Buffett is one of my favorite songs of all time. So this was just a good one to have and has a lot of classics like Margaritaville, Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes, all that stuff. So I was happy about this one. I have where Alabama was inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I believe this is all Oh no, this is actually not all live. This is people who did um, covers of their songs in honor of them. And this has Emmylou on it. This has Eddie Floyd on it. This has George Strait, Allison Moore. It has several people like that on it. And Alabama is another group that like I don't sit here and listen to very often. But I would like to check out more of their stuff and also very sentimental because my grandparents love them and have played them growing up. So I'm sure I'll recognize stuff off of here. And also, I'm from Alabama. So then he had um, Nat King Cole Greatest Hits, which also going to check out. That's another thing I don't listen to and would like to check out. I feel like people are going to watch this and be like, why would you not just stream all of this music to see if you like it? But I think this is so much more exciting. So this is the very best of Otis Redding, which the Eagles also listed as an influence in that documentary. So I wanted to check that out. Plus classic. And this is a Marvin Gaye album, which I believe to be a greatest hits album. I don't think it actually says on it what album it is. But I think I think it's um, a greatest hits compilation, and yeah, 
gotta love Marvin Gaye. Then he also had um, Linda Ronstadt Greatest Hits, which is also just a good starting place to listen to her. Then he had the Eagles Live album, which, you know, like the main one, the, hold on, I have the cover for it. Somewhere. Maybe. This. So yeah, I've listened to this for a long time too. I like Hell Freezes Over better, but this is also a good one to have and something I'll listen to, especially like in the car. It's a good thing to throw on. There's Leanne Rhymes Blue and my mom loves Leanne Rhymes and I've kind of grown up listening to her as well. And also someone I would like to expand upon. So yeah. I feel like this is extremely country and people are judging me, but you know what? Love what you love. Even though I am not primarily a country fan, um, that's a lot of what I grew up on and I think it's always good to expand your music taste and I there's nothing wrong with country music or people who like country music and I think that you should love what you love and be proud of it. Even though I'm not saying that I like love, love country music, I'm just saying I'm not like ashamed of trying to get into more stuff, if that makes sense. And a lot of these people are like super, super influential people in music. But I just think it's good to have listened to at least once to, you know, see what's out there. Then he had Bruce Springsteen, Born in the USA, which I love. I love, love this album. So I was super happy he had this. Literally so many songs on this album are my favorite songs. Like, first of all, Cover Me. Downbound Train is maybe the most underrated song of all time. I'm just saying. And um, Bobby Jean. Mm. Then he had... Simon and Garfunkel Greatest Hits, which is also a good place to, you know, kind of get on board with them. Then there is George Strait, Pure Country, which I don't know how I would feel about this. I feel like I may recognize some of these from him playing them. But you know, you know, I'm not saying that I'm committing to all of this. I'm just, I'm just trying it out, you know? These are the classics. And also an Alabama Greatest Hits album too. This says Paul Simon Graceland again, so I'm not sure if that's a double CD or what. I don't know. I own like three copies of some CDs, so that could also be what he was doing. <laughs> um, I doubt it. This is probably, it's probably a double CD. He also has The Eagles, Their Greatest Hits, which most people don't know is one of the best-selling albums of all time after Michael Jackson Thriller. Just say. This has... The Classics, another one who, you know, I love all these songs. This has Take It Easy, Witchy Woman, Lying Eyes, Already Gone, Desperado, One of These Nights, Tequila, Sunrise, Take It to the Limit, Peaceful, Easy Feeling. Like, they, they put this out before Hotel California came out, which I think is kind of funny. But anyway, there's that. And then there is The Temptations, who are another that I don't really know anything by, but want to expose myself to so there's a grim what then there's a jim crochet greatest hits um he's another one who i don't really know anything by but i feel like he's a classic and like i feel like he's someone who i should know things by so I'm gonna listen to this I feel like people are going to make fun of me for this, but I got the Forrest Gump soundtrack and I did not know that this movie had such a bop in soundtrack. Let's, let's talk about, let's talk about what all is on here. Okay. Okay. Like th this is, this soundtrack is lit. I love so many of these songs. This has Jefferson Airplane on it. This has The Birds. This has The Supremes. This has Leonard Skinner's Sweet Home Alabama. Um, this has Gladys Knight, this has Willie Nelson, um, Bob Seger, it has Elvis, um, it has Joan Baez, who's another person who I have never listened to, but I want to listen to. It has Creedence Clearwater Revival, The Four Tops, Aretha Franklin, 
Bob Dylan, the Beach Boys, the Mamas and the Papas, the Doors, and Simon and Garfunkel. Like, tell me this is not the most boppin' soundtrack you've ever seen for a movie. Okay, tell me. And there is another Alabama Greatest Hits. I literally just grabbed things. I, I realize now that I did get some that are kind of repetitive, but that is okay. And I got um, Chronicle by Credence Clearwater Revival, another group that I want to get more familiar with. So I'm gonna listen to that. This is gonna be like a project for months. I may do like a follow-up video of like what I thought of each one of these albums. That would be cool. Then there is the Sweet Dreams soundtrack by Patsy Cline. And I freaking love Patsy Cline. I was so, so excited about this. And this has a ton of her big hits on it and including Walking After Midnight, which I love. I love that song so much. And um, I Fall to Pieces and She's Got You and stuff like that. And I just, I'm, I love, I love Patsy Cline. And also he had the Beach Boys Greatest Hits, which I was really excited about. And then also I don't have a cassette player, but I grabbed two of his cassettes that he had just because, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I got them. Maybe I should invest in a cassette player, but like I don't need another thing to buy formats of music on. Like I already buy the vinyl, the CD, and the digital of things. Like I probably wouldn't buy newer albums. I say that now. Watch me. I'd have every Taylor Swift album on cassette tape, which would be totally unnecessary, but I probably would. Um, but anyway, I don't, I just, I just got these. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, so the first one is Emilou Harris, um, Luxury Liner. Once again, Emilou, I don't know too much about, but this, this also, I just liked some of the names of the songs on these. And then the last thing I got made me very happy and I really wanted it. And it was the best of the 50s party. And literally all of these songs, this reminds me more of my grandmother than my pop. Um, but literally every single song on here is a classic and what I grew up listening to with my grandparents. So this this is so good. I, I, I want to get a cassette player just to listen to this. Um, this has Wake Up Little Susie by the Everly Brothers on it, Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley in the comments, That'll Be the Day by the Crickets. I love that song. Um, sea Cruise by Frankie Ford, Shaboom by the Crickets. Shaboom. Love that. And a whole lot of shaking going on. Um, Johnny Be Good, Tequila, Tiger, and Tallahassee Lassie. That is just... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sure I will, you know, kind of have what I like from this in future playlists if I don't make a follow-up video. And yeah, I know this was a little bit different from what I normally talk... I mean, not really, but a little bit. A little bit of a genre difference. So yeah, bye guys. Thank you for watching. I will link my last videos in the description and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Bye.